Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my Photoshopping Cars series. And we're going to switch it up once again. I was going into a top five, uh, but it just didn't seem to work. A lot of people were complaining that they didn't make it into the top five. Um, so what I'm just going to revert back to is just going through my Twitter and showing you every single car that people send in. Because uh, then everyone gets a, a spotlight on the the video if you know what I mean um, and then it saves me trying to pick from the top five as well um, so yeah I, I think it'll work I don't know about you guys uh, please let me know if you want the top five back or if you would rather this way uh, where I can just show you every single entry that's come in so I, I think it's a better way to do it um, all you have to do is send it into my Twitter oh yeah Twitter um, so yeah if we was photoshopping this car right here um, I don't know if anyone's got the original anywhere um, no. Okay. Uh, apparently I got two notifications. Nope. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so this one's from Ika E. D. Mikasa, and I'm sure he, he won uh, the top five last week, so... Pretty nice Photoshop right there. Um, this car, I was looking at it, and I tried to Photoshop it myself, and it was hard. I'm not gonna lie, it was generally a hard car to Photoshop, which is which is which makes it fun, I suppose. Uh, but it makes it challenging at the same time. As soon as it's at a weird angle as well, um, so it's a bit challenging. Uh, but you guys absolutely killed it. Very very nice Photoshop there from Ica HF01. Um, so, oh okay. Um, on to the next one, Nathan420. Had to keep it clean, not much changed. And to be honest, I absolutely get that. Um, this car is a beautiful car as stock. Um, it looks crazy. Generally, it's a very, very nice car. So I understand why I kept it clean. Um, and I do really, really like that, to be honest. Um, so coming in, uh, Thomas Klee, 2802. Um, whoa. Um, the only problem is, like this picture here, like the stock image, it's a weird angle the car so when he's tried to put it on the background here it has come out a little bit strange like it's not flat on the floor um, but it still kinda works still kinda works the shadow underneath is a little bit strong uh, but it's still a very very good Photoshop um, it's got some dirt on it I don't know if he's tried to make it look like it's uh, been abandoned in this warehouse um, don't take that as an offense but it looks like really dirty like around here and stuff like that so yeah, if Thomas Clee is watching, uh, please let me know if you did actually mean it like that. If not, then hmm, I don't know. I, I didn't mean to call it abandoned. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of this hole. All right, on to, <laughs> on to the next one. Work in progress. Oh, that's not even the car, but let's show it anyway. Nathan420. Um, here we go. Um, 370Z. Oh, is that a 370? I can't tell. It might be a 350, uh, just with different body. Yeah, it's a 350. Um... It's, that looks very very nice actually. I really really like that. Front bump is a little bit sloppy, but there's a very nice Photoshop there. Um, so yeah, do, do you know what? From this, um, no 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 no. Um, but if you guys want to send in any random images that you Photoshop, please just go ahead and send them in. Um, I'll show them at the same time, but I will do a main image for you guys. Um, hyperactive Matt, Bat Matt, <laughs> at Bat Matt. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I wanted to keep it vintage, so I only changed the background and added a filter. Um, so he's quite literally kept it a stock image, uh, but the background works absolutely spot on, so you can't really complain with this. Um, it doesn't look too photoshopped either, so um, it's just filter, and it's just the background, but it, it probably the best Photoshop there. Like I know it's not a lot of um, a lot of Photoshop in, in this picture, but this car is pretty nice as stock, so that works really well, like the filter. Uh, and the background right there, and on to the last one from Ryan VR451. Um, he looks like he's kept it pretty clean as well. Uh, he's took the side thing off. You can see the kind of circle there, uh, but if I wasn't looking for it, um, I wouldn't be able to see that. Uh, the rims are a little bit distorted, a little bit distorted, but they work. They work. Front lip. Um, has anyone else done a front lip? I never really had a look. No, no one else done a front lip, so that's a nice, unique uh, bit put into the picture. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for entering. Um, yeah, that's all the entries this week. Uh, so jumping onto the next car, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but if you guys Photoshop any random cars in your spare time, uh, just send them over. But try and concentrate it on the car that I do 
um, put in a second. Um, so yeah, let's get on to the next car anyway. So there we are. Um, this is the next car coming up, and it's an absolutely crazily high resoluted picture. Like the quality in this picture is absolutely insane. Um, it looks crazy from this angle as well. Um, just a very very nice car overall. It's a BMW M3 for anyone wondering um, And yeah, it's a very good angle. We can get some nice wheels on this a bit of an arch gap as well So you might be to slam it pretty low and yeah I think I think there's gonna be some amazing photoshops coming out of this so get entering this week um, There will be no top five next week unless I don't know it's up to you guys um, Leave a comment saying if you want a top five or if I should leave it as I done this episode Because uh, I think it gets everyone involved showing off everyone's Photoshop music skills Even if like you're only just doing your first Photoshop you might not make it to the top five uh, But you'll still get featured on on like uh, being shown you know, your image being shown should I say um, so yeah I just rambled a load of crap <laughs> get a photoshop in this picture this picture will be in the description below so just download it from there and then once you're done save your picture and then send it on twitter to my twitter which is kevin toll um it's in the description below and yeah easy as that one two three and yeah hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time